Here we are back doing a stippling on the Porsche RSK Spider. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to darken up some more underneath the fender well behind the rear tire. And I don't know if you can see it well or not, but what I'm doing is just lifting and putting the pen down and I'm uh, making the dots closer together so what it does is darkening it up this is the only way I have making darker color is to put more ink in any area so that's what I'm doing here and you can see the difference between what it was and what it is now and it's real simple it uh, it's just plain simple you just put more dots down when you do it gets darker as you remove the white spaces that are there even though they're small it darkens the color and this is the way I draw and this is the way I shade things and after all I'm working with black ink I don't have any way to make it lighter all I can do is make it darker so I start out with a white piece of paper or just off-white and then from there it turns into what it turns into and that's just because I'm holding the pen and moving it like the needle in a tattoo gun or a sewing machine or something like that it just goes up and down and I don't go side to side because that would make a line what I'm doing here is just going up and down and trying to hit the places that are white and as I get more of those inked then that color disappears and it becomes dark or darker until finally if I if I do this long enough it'll be pure black because there won't be any white left at all in which case then I will have done as much as I can do once it's completely black it's as much as I can get it in darkness anyway there it is you see that's a lot darker than it was and that's how I did in front of here also and the way I did around here as well and what I'm doing here is just darkening up this part that's really in close shadow the the shadow underneath the car usually doesn't have to be this dark but I want this to be uh, really dark because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black tire which has some highlights on it and I have to make this dark enough so that I can show the difference between the black of the tire as opposed to this really dark shadow so uh, the tire in some places has highlights on it where the sunlight hits on that portion of the tire that the light is coming in at an angle like from here and so there's going to be a, a bright patch right here but right next to it is going to be a very deep dark patch because that's going to be around the corner around the sidewall of the tire down on the bottom it will be totally in shadow so what I have to do is show the difference between the two of them so that you can actually see the roundness of the tire and that's what's that's what's the difficult part it's not the drawing per se what it is is it's the shading the shadows and shading are what make this believable as a round object or not if I do a good job then you can see how the body goes. If I don't do a good job, then you can't. Simple as that. But with a little bit of practice, this is really easy to do, and you'll be just amazed how easy it is to get it done. Anyway, that's where we are. Um, I'm going to work on this some more, and I will post some more tomorrow. Thank you very much.